Greet in the brothers and sisters. Once again, we are thankful to the one true living God for blessing us to be present. <clears throat> we thank him for being the true sender and teacher and instructor of holy prophets and of holy apostles. We're glad for you that are here this afternoon. I, I see you still got a hangover from the convention last week. <laughs> We are indeed grateful to him for the many blessings that he has bestowed upon us. Yes. And to all of my viewers, we're glad to come back in your homes and your places of business and wherever you are to hear the message of holiness that God left on record for us. It is and have been the best message that God put in the earth today. There is nothing more cleaner and more satisfying. And there certainly isn't anything that will get you more right outside of what God left in the scriptures for the progress of his people. We are God's people. And when I say we are God's people, I'm not just talking about those that's here on Lindley Avenue or in quote unquote first church. Because God has people that you never met. He said so, other sheep that I have, that is not of this fold. But he also said that he's going to bring them in also. We had a very, you know, time go by so fast. And just think last week, this time, we were sitting in the midst of a few thousand folk yes. glorifying God for God's goodness. And last week during the youth conference, 141 was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, that's a blessing. I see we have some... Uh, Three in headquarters as well, three in Bronx, and one in Houston, and one received the Holy Ghost. Sixteen was baptized in Detroit, and four in Sierra Leone, West Africa, which brought us to 168 souls all together from last week. So that's a blessing. Now I want to invite all of my viewers. Make your plans now for the international Holy Convocation that will take place in July 14th through the 17th. July 14th through the 17th. We will be back in Greensboro, North Carolina at the convention center there. I strongly advise you to make your plans now. And being that it's a, our international convocation, I am looking for the ministers and the brothers and sisters yes. from around the world. You that are in Alaska, you that's in Mexico, South America, New Guinea, New Zealand, Australia, all the South Pacific churches of the Crook Islands, Samoan Islands, Fiji Islands, Solomon Islands, you that are throughout Africa, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Ivory Coast, Malawi, Mozambique, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Kenya, Tanzania, all of you throughout Africa, you throughout the Caribbean, Barbados, Bahamas, Jamaica, Trinidad, St. Thomas, St. Vincent, you that's in Europe, Scotland, Ireland, Netherlands, United Kingdom, all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ in South India, East India, Northern India. You that's in Germany, yeah. and I done left so many other places out. 
But uh, we're looking for our international brothers and sisters that can be here. And uh, one brother was talking to me early in the week. He said, you know, we had over 3,000 shares out. I said, I thought y'all had over 2,000. He said, well, 3,000 is over 2,000. <laughs> he said, Pastor Jennings, it was a wonderful feeling Amen. to sit in the midst of the vision Amen. that you told us about. Amen. And it's a blessing. To see so many people that's constantly waking up. Yeah. Waking up. And just like God is waking them up, the devil would do anything to put you back to sleep. Whether he make you fight the message or misunderstand the message or misrepresent the message, anything. The devil will pull you out of the truth of the gospel only if you let him. That's one thing I'm determined that he's just not going to put that over on me. Not at all. God brought me in and I'm here to stay in. Amen. You better this in mind. I don't care what I got to fight or who. I fight you all day if it's going to give me eternal life with God. Weather's getting warm, and the devil is warmer. But the International Convocation, don't miss it. July 14th through the 17th. Now, I know many of you is making your reservations now. Good. Make them. The hotel's not locked down under the church name yet, but you ain't got to wait. Amen. Amen. My mother talked to me. She said, son, I plan on having my bags packed a month before the meeting. <laughs> you never can have them too early. Logan, don't you miss this one? This is the international convocation, and it is mandatory that everybody be there. So you make sure you're on the bus if you got the thumb it there. All of you backsliders, this is a chance that God has given you to come back to him. That's what holiness is over the air for. To bring those back to God that left them and establish those that are with God so they don't leave them. The devil don't care that you come to church. He don't care. He'll bring you. Amen. You don't have a way the devil will drive you. But it is the knowledge of God that he don't want you to have. Knowledge is freedom. Ignorance is bondage. And I can never thank God enough for giving us knowledge. And understanding, and it is the understanding of the scriptures that have liberated us from ignorance and false religions and the concept and the brainwashing of men. You know, the word of God have to undo everything man done to you. And that's a task within itself. To get all that man-made junk out of your mind and get it out of your heart. Because if it don't come out, you're going to take the wisdom that man plant in you and out of ignorance and arrogance, fight God with it. And you're going to think you're so right because the Bible speaks plain. A fool ways are right in his own eyes. And you must find yourself foolishly and ignorantly fighting and retaliating and rebelling against the scriptures that you don't understand. So in all thine getting, get an understanding. 
Amen. So, God willing, May is my last month here in the country. Yes. Oh, yes. Before we go on our European tour, we'll be out the country throughout the month of May. And if anybody stay out of church because I'm out the country, you're a hypocrite. That's right. Because I'm not your God. Jesus Christ is our God, and I didn't die for you. The Son of Man died for you. So uh, you be here. <laughs> you want to be supportive? Be here. And support the work of God. We will be starting off in London, England. And then our last stop will be in Italy. And we thank God because the word of God have dug up souls in all the stops we're making. Souls that went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ and have received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So when we come back here to America, we will rest. And when you see me again, God willing, it'll be at the International Convocation. And then I'll rest some more, and in August, God willing, we'll be on our African tour, working there. Then we have a South Pacific tour coming up, Excellent. all out there in the islands that's near Japan and near China, flying from island to island, bringing them the word of God. Yes. Then we have to be in New Zealand. Then New Guinea, and then several areas in Australia before we get back home. I don't say why you go so much. Don't blame me. Blame God. I can't help if God made us a fisherman, and the fish begin to bite Scripture, and God reeled them in. And I'm glad God reeled them in. Amen. We're not just a pastor of a local church sitting on one corner for about 40 or 50 years. That's, that's not us. And it wasn't the apostles either. He told them to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And God have opened up the world to the truth of God. And I thank God much for it. It's exhausting, it's tiring, but uh, it is worth it. Seeing one soul get saved. We have to be in Dubai. We have to be in Alaska. So all of the new brothers and sisters out of Seattle, Washington, St. Louis, Missouri, Kansas City, Cleveland, Ohio, Cincinnati, Montana, North and South Dakota, state of Wyoming, all of the Midwest, West Coast. Everybody make plans now. Everybody. Make plans now on July 14th through the 17th. Be in Greensboro, North Carolina at the convention center there. You know, the hotel was, they were not just only rejoicing over having business, but they said they never seen children. They had many conventions at their convention center. They said they never seen children so behaved. They said normally the children will be on the elevators, just pressing buttons, running all up and down, running all around the lobby and everywhere. And they said the children are so well-mannered. That is good. You train your children right, you won't have that problem. Amen. Train them the way they should go. So when they get old, they won't go to hell. As a result of departing from the truth. Teach them right. Tell them what's right. Tell them how to get right, be right, stay right. All right, let's go to work. Amen. All right, Williams, open your Bible anywhere and let's, let's get busy. I'm in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and we'll start reading at verse 4. 
All right, viewers, get this and follow me now. Don't forget, Pastor Jennings is giving you a personal invitation to our International Holy Convocation. July 14th through the 17th. <coughs> You're more than welcome to come, regardless of what race you are. It doesn't matter. God made you. If you're a transvestite, you come. So we can push you back to your manhood. Amen. Or your womanhood. Whatever God made you, you come on. Amen. We'll, we'll, we'll even change your clothes for you. Before you leave the meeting, we'll change you up. Dress you up. Take you to Sears. You know, you know, man trying to push this transgender thing and it's not working. I was looking at the news and they told me that they put a transgender in prison. A man who got all dutied up and got the hormone shots in, got his body made like a woman. So they put him in an all female prison. And to him, he was in female heaven. And uh, two of the female inmates got pregnant. Mm -hmm. He walk around with fake breasts, but them tools couldn't change. <laughs> them tools below his belt couldn't change. Amen. Amen. He got female women in prison, pregnant. Lord. Go to show you it don't work. Amen. I don't care what you may call yourself. <laughs> Amen. Whatever you call yourself, you can call yourself Stefana. But you're still good old Stephen. That's right. You can call yourself Gina, but you're still Gino. That's yes. right. Oh, yes. Amen. That's right. You got to come on back to what God made you. Oh, yeah. You know why? God can't lie. No. All right, Williams, let's go to work. Hebrews chapter 12, we're at verse 4. All right. You have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. Uh -huh. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord. My son, view us. Don't reject God's chastening. That's right. Because when God chases you, he's dealing with you. That's right. It's a beautiful thing when God get in behind you. Yeah. Don't feel good at the time, but... I'd rather for God to get in behind me now in mercy than get in behind me later in judgment. That's right. I'm pretty sure I didn't feel good to Jonah. Spend three days and three nights in the belly of the well. No way. Didn't feel good. No. But uh, when he came out, he was a new man. New man. <laughs> if you remember, the Lord charged Jonah go to Nineveh. And uh, Jonah made it plain how he didn't want to go. And the journey to Nineveh was three days. Yeah. And Jonah, he stole away or hid. Hid. On, on the ship and uh, figured if he hide, he can duck. You know that's foolish. That's right. How in the world can you duck from him that see everything? That's right. But he tried it. He, he tried it. And he failed to realize that it is God that controls the water. Yes. That's right. So God had the ship just tossing around on the waves. Mm. But the Lord sent out a great wind. Into Who the did ship. it? The Lord. Give chapter and verse for this. Jonah chapter 1 and West I'm taking this route to show the world nobody can hide. That's right. I don't care who you are, how old, your educational background, 
how smart you believe you are. <laughs> That's right. I have to put it that way. That way. Because there's some folks that they're so smart they can put something over on God, you fool. <laughs> That's right. You was a fool and a good fool. Amen. Listen at this. Jonah chapter 1 and at verse 4. Uh -huh. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea. The Lord sent out a great wind in the sea. And there was a mighty tempest in the sea. And what happened? So that the ship was like to be broken. The ship was like it would be broken. Then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his God. And what happened? And cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it of them. Yeah. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship. Yeah. Hmm. Jonah went on down to the size of, he made his business. I'm going to hide That's this right. thing out. That's right. I'm going to get all in the size deep right. where God can't see me. That's right. Amen. But the prophet talked about God's vision and said, light and darkness are equal to him. That's right. And but Jonah was going down into the sides of the ship and he lay and was fast asleep. Yeah. So the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? What are you doing down here, you yeah. sleeping thing, you? Arise, call Get upon up. thy God. Yes. Get up. Yes. That's right. And do what? Call upon thy God. Start praying. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Jonah didn't go down there to pray. No. Jonah went down there to hide. Viewers, yeah. and you that are here, mm -hmm. sometime in your life, your decision was to hide yeah. from God. That's That's right. Right. Sometime you think if you will go to a church uh -huh. and participate in their religious practice, that you got religion. That's right. That used to be an old saying, I got religion. Mm -hmm. I got religion. Yeah, you got something that ain't worth nothing. That's right. All of us sometime in our life got religion. Oh, yeah. That's true. But it wasn't what God wanted us to have. I know I thought I had it. I know, I know you thought you had it. I know I thought I had it. Oh, it echoes without question. <laughs> without question, I said. That's right. Mr. Williams thought he had religion <laughs> down in his old bosom. <laughs> He thought he had religion so oh, bad, yeah. he, he, he concluded he ain't got to go to church. That's right. I mean, he got, he got so religious, he said he ain't got to go to church at all. That's right. And we will be coming up from our false church, <laughs> riding up the street, and whenever there's a thunderstorm, it was like something from Alfred Hitchcock movie. <laughs> Williams would be in the window of his third floor, Amen. and lightning would be flashing, all you see is this image in the window. <laughs> That's how bad he had religion. That's right. And he would fight me bitterly. Yes, I would. Until God opened his understanding. That's you, viewers. Oh, yeah. Many, many of you here fought this when you first saw it. Oh, yes. You couldn't stand it. You thought I was the meanest fellow you ever met on television. Amen. You thought I didn't preach with love. You thought I was hateful, arrogant, self-centered. That's right. But you kept coming back, getting back. slapped more over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes to wake a person up, slapping them one time, don't do it. That's right. That's right. When they real stubborn, you got to slap and slap and slap again. Oh, yeah. Then when they come to themselves, they're like, oh, what, what happened? That's what God does. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Oh, he slapped some sense into you. Oh, yeah. Slap the beer out your hand. Yeah. And after you slap it out, you go right back and pick it up again. Here come God again. That's right. Slap it out again. Amen. In other words, he keeps slapping your mind and slapping your heart until the love for the world. That's it. And the love for your lifestyle has been so affected and wounded by the bruising of the scriptures. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Listen at this now. What meanest thou, O sleeper? Uh -huh. Arise, call upon thy God. Get up and call upon God. If so be that God will if think so upon us. If so be God will think upon us. Upon us. That we perish not. That's what I want. Oh, yes. Every wise person should want God to think on him. To think on him. Lord. Oh, yes. Think about saving me. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord, Hallelujah. in the midst of my sins, I don't want you to think about cutting me off. That's right. But think about having mercy on me. That's right. 
Glory be to God. If so be that God will you think know, upon us. You know, that is so beautifully said. Oh, yes. If so be that God that will God think upon us. Feel us. Hallelujah. God is proving that he's thinking about the whole world. That's right. By sending this message to you today. That's right. Yeah. That's right. God is thinking he's about thinking. the world. Oh, yes. And he's giving everybody a fair chance to run to him. That's right. If you don't take advantage, glory to God, of this change, of this chance, it's because of your own arrogance. Oh, yes. Your own hard-headedness. Mm -hmm. Your own stubbornness. Yeah. And your own self willness That's right. Listen at this. If so be that God will think about us. If so us, be that God will think about that, us. That we perish not. That we don't perish. And they said everyone to his fellows, come and let us cast lots. Let's cast lots. That we may know for whose cause this evil Listen, is upon us. We know we was living, we were selling on good waters. Yeah. Calm. Calm. But something's wrong. That's right. We better cast lots and see. Who is this and evil. what is the problem? That's right. You know, sometimes right. the who is the problem that's in your life. Oh, yes. And a lot of time it takes God, God. to throw that thing overboard. That's right. Yeah. What do you mean? That's right. As long as Jonah was on that boat, mm -hmm. everybody was in danger. Everybody. But when they got rid of Jonah, they got rid of the problem. That's right. Now do you see what I'm telling you? That's right. Look at your life. Yeah. What's in it? What's in it? Who is in it? Yeah. That's threatening your eternal life with God. That's right. Who is in your life? What's in your life that's affecting your relationship with God? That's it. And now if your life is in turmoil yeah. as a result of him or them or they. Oh, yes. Throw them overboard. Throw them over. That's right. Who will take God? Get rid of the excess baggage. Get rid of them. Your life wasn't in turmoil yeah. until you met him or her right. or it. That's right. Do you hear this? Come and let us cast lots. Let us cast lots. And the lot fell upon Jonah. <laughs> Amen. God have a way of digging up the problem. That's right. The lot fell on Jonah. And then said they unto him, tell us we pray thee. Jonah, tell us. Yeah. We pray thee. Uh -huh. For whose cause this evil is upon us. Why in the world is our ship about to be torn up? That's right. You better do some explaining. What is thine occupation? Everything was all right until you... You got here. What kind of work do you do? And whence comest thou? <laughs> huh? That's you right. hear what they ask? What is thine occupation? What kind of work do you do? <laughs> and whence comest thou? Where you come from? What is thy country? What country are you from? And of what people art thou? What's your nationality? And he said, What's your background? That's right. Who's your kinfolk? That's right. These are all legitimate, <laughs> legitimate. questions. Why? Man, we got to get to the source of this problem. That's right. You better go back and ask that again. What is, in Jonah chapter 1 and verse 8. All right. What is thine occupation? Feel us. Amen. <laughs> Wonderful. Do you know the background Wonderful. of the ones in your life? That's it. Do you know what kind of work they do? That's right. Not what kind of work they say they do. Yeah. Do you know the kind of work they do? That's right. Mm-hmm. What is thine occupation? What kind of work you have? And whence comest thou? <laughs> Amen. Where do you come from? Do you come from God or the devil? That's it. Why are you in my life? That's true. Why are you here? <laughs> That's right. What you want from me? That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. What is thy country? What? What is thy country? Where are you from? Amen. Uh -huh. And of what people art thou? What? People are you. What's your background? What's your relatives? What, what, what family? What's your family? What kind of family you come from? That's right. Are, are, are they tore up from the floor up? Are they God fearing? Do you come from a house of gamblers and drunks and racketeers and gang bangers? That's right. That's right. Hmm. These are all legitimate all questions. All legitimate questions. Why? You want to know what you are surrounded with. That's right. All right. What is thine occupation and whence comest thou? Yes. What is thy country and of what people art thou? Uh -huh. And he said unto them, I am a Hebrew. I'm a Hebrew. And I fear the Lord. Uh-oh. 
I fear God. And I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, yes. which hath made the sea and the dry land. Uh -huh. Then were the men exceedingly afraid. Wait a minute. Amen. We got someone hiding. <laughs> and now they talk about they fear God. That's right. Is she hiding from God? From God. <laughs> Amen. But he kept it under wraps. That, yes, he did. That's the way many of you are, viewers. Yes. True. You keep your belief in God under wraps. That's right. Because you don't want that man to know that if I follow what I believe, I can't have you in my life now. That's true. Eh? That's true. Many of you brothers keep that belief of God under wraps. Under wraps. Because if I follow, blessed be the great God of Abraham, what I believe, you can't be in my life now. That's true. Many of you keep your belief under wraps because if I follow what the word of God said, yeah. I got to leave that kind of job. That's right. That's true. Eh? That's true. If I tell my family members what I believe because I'm afraid not to be in the family circle, yeah. I keep it on the wraps. That's right. Jesus said, if you're ashamed of me. That's right. Didn't they say so? That's right. I'll be ashamed of you. Who will take God before my Father which is in heaven? That's right. You know, God wants a people that's not ashamed of not him. Not ashamed of him. Not ashamed of him in no fall. That's right. How can you be embarrassed by serving him yeah. that gave you life? That's right. Oh, yeah. Stop being concerned about how you look in the eyes of others. And you better be concerned about how you look in the eyes of God. That's right. What did he say, son? Then were the men exceedingly Lord afraid. God. Then were the men exceedingly be afraid. God, exceedingly. They afraid. scared now. That's oh, right. Uh -huh. And said unto him, Why hast thou done this? Why in the world did you do this? For the, for the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord. Mm. Yes. The one that's in your arms now. Mm. Are you being used as a form of safe haven? That's right. Because they are running from God. That's right. A lot of folk never even thought on that no. man. No, no. Is he or she running to you? Uh -huh. And using you as a form of a safe haven. Hmm. But yet they are running from God. Yeah. Viewers are you going from false church to false church to false church. And some of you got the truth in you. Yes. That's right. Someone say what? Give me the first chapter of Romans real quick. Romans. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Romans chapter 1, again at verse 18. Romans chapter Running 1. Running from false church to false church, and yet the truth is in them, and some of them, because God made it known to them. Romans chapter 1 and verse 18. Brief ask. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. The wrath of God, the anger of God, is revealed from heaven against all the wicked. And unrighteousness of men. Yes. Who hold the truth. Notice. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness, against all that is ungodly, and unrighteousness of men, and all men that are wrong. Who and hold wait, the and truth? And them that are wrong, what position are they in, Williams? Who hold the truth? They hold what? The truth. They hold what? The truth. In what? In unrighteousness. How did they get it? Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. How did they get it? For God has showed it unto them. Yeah. That's oh, yes. Many of you That's running from fake man-made religion to fake man-made religion. Yeah. No better. No better. Right. No, it's wrong. Yeah. No better. The sit under woman preaches. That's right. No, it's wrong. That's right. To remarry and divorce. That's right. Yeah. But you will go to that adulterous marriage anyway. Anyway. Because your close friend or your boss on your job eh, getting the second wife and you won't say nothing. He come and ask you, hey, Jeff, you know, and me and my first wife, that relationship didn't work out, you know, but wow, man, I, Shirley, oh, Shirley is a knockout. Oh, I, <laughs> she's a knockout. That's I, right. I, I'm, I'm crazy about Shirley. That's right. Jeff, what you think? 
What you and I want you to be the best man at my wedding. And here's old Jeff. Here's been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. He may be a backslider now, but he had the Holy Ghost. That's and right. he know that the word of God said that you're bound by the law long as you live, but they keep it under wraps. That's right. Because he's scared that his past faith yeah. will be a present threat. Yeah. That's right. That's where many of you are now. Oh, yeah. And that's why many of you go along to get along because you're afraid that your present faith in scripture will be a present threat. Well, i rather that my faith in scripture be a present threat to the whole world. That's right. Then God be a threat to my soul. That's right. In St. Mark chapter 8 and verse 38. Give chapter and verse again. St. Mark chapter 8, now we're at verse 38. That's what? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me. Look at Jesus talking. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Whosoever. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me. God therefore will be ashamed. Of me. Of me. And of my words. And of what I believe in, and what I preach. In this adulterous and sinful generation. In this adulterous, mm. this man swapping in wife swapping and this idolatry. That's included there too. That's right. Eh? That's right. Generation. Of him. Of him. Also shall the Son of Man be ashamed. The Son of Man going to be ashamed of him too. When he cometh in the glory of his Father. He, the Son of Man going to be so ashamed of him, he's not going to accept him. That, that's right. That's right. The Son of Man going to be too ashamed. Too ashamed. To spend eternity with you. That's right. That's right. If you're ashamed of anything God said today. Whosoever therefore. Then he going to be ashamed of you. That's right. When Jesus comes, that's right. He's gonna be so ashamed, he's not gonna want to be seen with you mm. in eternity. That's, that's right. That's right. Hmm? That's something, brother. That's something. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Come on, he's not gonna want to be seen with you. My Lord. My Lord. In other words, that's his way of paying you back. Yeah. That's right. The Lord ain't no one you throw under the brush. Oh, no. Hot under a rug. Oh, one, one scripture said it wasn't done in the corner. That's right. And it wasn't. That's right. Huh? Whosoever therefore. Whosoever. Whosoever Lord therefore. Said, God therefore. Shall be ashamed of me. Shall be ashamed of me. And of my words. And of what I preach. In this adulterous and in sinful this adulterous generation. this and sinful generation. Of him also shall the son of man be ashamed. The preachers in the mega churches have proven to be ashamed of him. Oh yes. Because look at the generation that God pointed out the characteristics of the generation. In this adulterous. They are. They don't preach against adultery. No. And sinful. They don't preach against sin. Generation. That's right. Because they're too ashamed. Too ashamed. They have more respect for notoriety, popularity, and money right. more than they do God Almighty Himself. That's right. Go back to Jonah real fast and we'll go back to where we were to the foundation of the thing. Back in the book of Jonah, chapter 1, we're at verse 10. All right. Then were the men exceedingly afraid and said unto him, Yes. Why hast thou done this? Why are you here? For the men knew that he fled from they the presence knew that of the he Lord. tried to run from the presence of God. Because he had told them. Yes. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee? Wait a minute. What are we going to do with you now? That the yeah. sea may be calm unto us. In order. Now, viewers, I want you to get this. Amen. If you want calmness, Calmness. And your disturbed life. That's right. Cooperate. That's it. With God. That's right. Get me. That's right. I say, if you want calmness in your life, cooperate. That's it. With God. God say, go to Nineveh. That's right. Jonah. No, I ain't. <laughs> Amen. I'm getting out of this. I'm getting out of this. If I got the hot on a ship, I'm getting out of here. That's right. And as a result of this, I want you to pay attention. Mm -hmm. As a result of Jonah's disobedience, mm -hmm. everybody around him, their lives yeah. were threatened. That's right. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. God told me, preach the word. Yes. If I don't do that, then my wife and my children, my immediate family, yeah. life is in threatened. That's, That's true. Amen. That's true. 
So they keep the sea calm. Yes. Amen. Amen. I ain't hiding. Come on, Jay. That's right. Glory to God. I will, by God's permission, continue to speak boldly in the synagogue. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. That blessings may be upon my house. Wonderful, brother. And not curse. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? Oh, yes. Amen. Your house can be blessed oh, yes. through the obedience of one, oh, yes. and your house can be cursed through the disobedience of another. That's right. Oh, this is beautifully outlined. Oh, Hear this yeah. now. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee? What shall we do to you? That the sea may be calm unto us. Eh? For the sea wrought and was temptatious. Notice, they asked Jonah, Amen. What shall we do to you? That the sea may be calm unto us. So we can have some peace while we're on this journey. For the sea wrought and was the temptuous. The sea wrought and was tempted. And he said unto them, Take me up. Wait a minute. Jonah <laughs> said, I, 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 look, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I, know, I, I, I know what y'all got to do with me. Do. That's right. Jonah said, take me up. And cast me forth into the sea. Throw me out. That's right. Why aren't you that honest, viewer? Mm. Why aren't you that honest? Amen. When that second wife tell you she want to be saved, That's right. and she done tried everything she could, That's right. why don't you be honest and tell her? Mm. You got to throw me out the house. That's it. That's right. Be honest. Be honest. You got to get me out your life. That's right. Eh? That's right. Hey, preacher, be honest. be honest. You that got these man-made religion. When they say, look, I want to be saved. Bishop, I want to be saved. You got to leave the church that I pastor. That's right. You got to leave the three God church. You got to leave the two God church. Amen. You got to leave the church where the women can preach. You got to leave the church where women can be deacons. You got to leave the church that fly rainbow flags. You got to leave the church that have no discipline, that don't believe in a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't believe in the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Throw it out. That's right. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Lay it aside. Amen. Do you hear what he said? And he said unto them, take me up. Take me up! And cast me forth into the sea. Yeah, that's what you have to do with your pastor. <laughs> that's right. That's right. All of you rush the pulpit. <laughs> Amen. Take him up. Take, that's and right. And throw him out in the street. Throw him out. Amen. Get some calmness in your life. That's Thank right. God, because as it stands now, you on your way to hell. Oh, God yes. knows. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. Come on, son. And he said unto them, Take me up. Take thee up. And, Take cast, me up. Me mm -hmm. uh -huh. and cast me forth into the sea. Throw me in the water. So shall the sea be calm unto you. And that's the solution to the problem. Yeah. For I know that for my sake, I know because of me, this great tempest is upon you. Viewers, because of the preachers sent by the devil, uh -huh. there's a great, great, tempest, great tempest upon yeah. creation. That's right. That's right. Your soul is lost. That's right. Lost. Yes. You got money, but you're still lost. Yes. Amen. Got the woman of your dreams and the man of your nightmare, but you're still lost. That's right. Got the income you want, got the job you want, you got the car or cars that you want, you got your wardrobe, yeah. but you're still lost. Still lost. Your investments is doing well, but you're still oh, yes. lost. That's right. Something got to be tossed aside. That's right. Yeah. And he said unto them, take me he up. He said, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory yeah. to God. Amen. Take me up. And cast me forth into cast the sea. Cast me forth into the sea. So shall the sea be calm unto so you. So the sea can be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake. This, I know because that, of me. This great tempest is this upon me. This great you. tempest is upon me. Nevertheless, the men rode hard to bring it to the land. And what? But they could not, for the sea wrought and was tempestuous against them. Yeah. Wherefore they cried unto the Lord. They cried to God. And said, we beseech thee, O Lord. We beseech thee. They start praying. Let us not perish for this man's life. Wait a minute. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. That's right. Don't kill us because of this man's life. Let us not perish for this man's life. Uh, Jonah. <laughs> That's right. The whole time, the moment he made up in his mind not to do what God say do, yeah. he was in sin. Yes, yes he was. The whole time. That's right. This shows you how the disobedience of one, one. can affect.
affect a whole lot. That's How true. you think the whole world got in sin? That's right. By the disobedience of one man. One man. By one man, the Bible says sin came into, into the, world, the world. And death by sin. That's right. Uh -huh. We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee. Amen. Uh -huh. All right. Let us not perish for this man's life. We don't want to die because of this man. That's and right. lay not upon us innocent blood. Wait a minute. We're innocent. Okay. That's right. You didn't talk to us. That's, That's right. right. He's guilty. That's right. Uh -huh. For thou, O Lord, has done as it pleased thee. Yes. So they took up Jonah and yeah. cast him forth into they the sea. They got Jonah. That's right. And put him in the sea. Yeah. And the sea ceased. They cast him. They cast him. That's right. And I mean, they, they, they be, they be, take it easy now. Don't drown. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, Jonah, right. Jonah, can you swim? No, no. Anybody ask that? No, they didn't. What? The, <laughs> That's right. Come on. What did they do, son? So they took up Jonah. They hold it. They took up. They, they, so they took Jonah. up Jonah. And they what? And cast him forth into the sea. <laughs> Throw him over. Throw him over. Sometimes we are too gentle. Yeah. With the problem. That's right. That's true. And when you're too gentle with the problem, you really don't want to get rid of the problem. And yet you see the problem is causing so much chaos yeah. in your life. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Yes, Glory to God. Uh -huh. So they took up Jonah. They and, took up Jonah. And cast him forth into the sea. Throw him in the sea. And the sea ceased from her raging. Yeah. That's right. Amen. The sea ceased, ceased from her raging. From her raging, then calmness the, came. Calmness. Because now, God wasn't in behind them. Right. He was in behind him. That's right. Then what? Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly uh -huh. and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and made yeah. vows. Oh, well, they made promises now. <laughs> That's right. And we, got rid, we got rid of Jonah. We better get ourselves right now. That's right. We better start making God some promises. I won't do this. I won't do that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I won't do the other. That's right. You know, God know how to bring an experience in your life. Yes, he will. That I make you vow to God. That's right. And the thing is, when you make that promise, you better stick to it. Stick to it. Until you die. That's right. God don't like when you make a vow and break it. He says it's better you hadn't made it. Had never made it. Uh -huh. Come on, son. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. There was a great fish prepared. Amen. Prepa already there. Already there. To swallow Jonah up. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Now, the journey to Nineveh was three days. Okay. And because of his hard-headedness, God allowed him to spend those three days and three nights mm -hmm. in the belly of the fish. Of the fish. Now, after the fish spewed him up, That's right. Jonah was a new man. That's right. A new heart. Amen. New mind. Oh, yes. Yes, he was resurrected. Oh, yes. And that's what we need. Yeah. We need to be resurrected so we can totally see ourselves. That's right. And that's what the word of God does. It's like a shovel. Yeah. Because we are covered with the dirt of sin. Oh, yeah. And the preacher that God says, come with the shovel of the gospel to free you out of that dirt. That's right. And then present you to the mirror of scripture. That's it. So you can see yourself internally and externally. That's right. And I strongly advise you, yeah. be honest with what you see. Oh, yes. What you see may be ugly. <laughs> Filthy, Filthy and dirty. That's right. But you might as well call it for what it is. For if any be a hearer of the word. Do you hear this? In the book of St. James, chapter 1 and verse 23. If any. If any be a hearer of the word. Be a hearer of God's word. And not a doer. And you don't do what it says. He is like unto a man beholding his natural face you in like a glass. You like a man that's looking into a glass. For he beholdeth himself. He look at himself. And goeth his way. And then go his way. And straightway forgetteth what straight man, man he was. He forget. What manner of man he was. In other words, he forget the image, the image that was there in the mirror. That's right. All right, let's go back to the foundation of where we got started at. Back in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and at verse 4. Follow me. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Yes. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. Yes. My son, despise not my thou. My son, the... 
do not reject the, the chastening of the Lord of the Lord nor faint when thou don't art go falling of out and get all bent out of shape when you get rebuke all of us need rebuke sometime in our life oh yeah that's right I'd rather get rebuke now yes and be saved, and be saved. than be rebuked by the Lord later that's right and be cast into hell that's right well, my father rebuked me, didn't feel good. No. But uh, I, I will accept that above this modern way of raising folk now. That's right. Yeah. Amen. There's this mess that they do now. It don't even make a man or, or a half woman out of you. Amen. You'd be almost a mannequin. Nothing. That's right. No sense of respect, no responsibility, no ethics, no nothing. No nothing. So when we are rebuked, as a child, it don't feel good. No. No. And sometimes, you know, one thing I've learned about children, they don't feel as though the chastisement should come upon them when they do wrong. Right. They feel as though, well, you know, I didn't do that much. <laughs> that's right. In their eyes, it's not that much. It's not that bad. And that's why many of you sinners that are watching think, yeah. well, wait a minute. There's only one thing I didn't do. It ain't, it ain't something to go to hell over. <laughs> Says who? That's right. That's, that's right. where the sinner is. That's the way the sinner is. You mean to tell me I'm gone to hell because I'm not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ because I don't believe it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. The Bible says he that believeth and is baptized, and is baptized. shall be saved. And he that don't believe it shall be damned. Amen. That don't mean you're going to Florida. No. no. You're going to hell. That's right. Into the fire. Into the fire. Thank God that never shall be quenched. That's right. Uh -huh. And you have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh you unto you. You forgot the exhortation that speak to you. As unto children. As unto children. My son despise uh -oh, not here, thou the here, chase. Hear the instructions yeah. from God through mm -hmm. the Apostle Paul. My son. My, look at the relationship. That's right. Between God and his church. That's right. My son. Despise not thou the chastening of the Lord. Despise not the chastisement of God. Nor faint. Don't faint. When thou art rebuked of him. Sometimes we lay people out, they get mad and don't That's come right. to church for six months. Get mad. That's true. I ain't coming to church until Pastor Dennis called me. You know you's a fool. That's a fool. It's amazing how you will treat God like that, but you won't treat your job like that. That's right. You will keep going to the job the next day, even if they say they're taking uh, $25 out to check. That's right. Because you know you ain't got no other source of income. You're going right back to the job you hate. <laughs> That's right. And sit there and do the work. Amen. Mad is the devil. <laughs> That's right. Mad is the devil, but you're right back punching that clock in. Right back. That's true. Same Boston laid you out, speak to you. <laughs> How you doing, Jack? <laughs> but Jack is back. Jack is back. Yeah. Hmm? That's right. You see, they treat God worse. Oh, yeah. Than they treat man. Oh, yes. And yet it is God who we look to make provisions for us. That's right. That's right. The Bible says what? My son, my son, church, despise not thou despise the chastening of the Lord. Not the chastening of the Lord, nor, nor faint, faint when thou art rebuked of him. When you get laid out. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Oh, wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. Do you hear that? For oh, yeah. whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. It don't feel like it, don't do it. Oh, no. No. That's why many of you viewers don't like to hear us. <laughs> That's right. One man made his own, uh, uh, about a, few seconds of a uh, podcast or whatever tar targeting me. Yeah. Mm. He said, Pastor Jenner, I don't like you. The reason why I don't like you because you talk about hell too much. <laughs> I don't like you. He said, I like some other preacher he called. He said, I like that preacher. He don't send you to hell. <laughs> Pastor Jenner, you send everybody to hell. Lord. I don't send nobody to hell because right. hell is not mine to send you. No. Listen, if it was left to me to send to hell, the whole government of America would be there. That's right. I send them right while they're in, right while they're in Congress. <laughs> you will see each politician just disappearing. <laughs> I send the president while he's getting inaugurated. Lord. Huh? While he got his hand up, <laughs> gone. <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
I, I send Putin to hell. Yeah. In fact, he would have been there since last week. <laughs> That's right. Hell? That's right. No red take God. So hell is not mine to sin. No. You going to go because of your actions. That's right. You're hard head viewers. You're stubborn. That's right. You're arrogant. You're self-righteous. And you want to believe you're a Christian just because you go to the church of your choice. Uh -uh -uh. Uh -uh. No, sir. Oh, you no. going to do this thing like God said it? That's yeah. right. Or you're going to be damned? You're going to be damned. Nobody care nothing about who you are. Politician, celebrity, global no. award carrier. You got your little star on the Hollywood cheaper fame. That's right. Care nothing about your name up in lights. That's you right. want your name up in lights? God going to give you some lights now. Oh, yeah. And they're going to burn. God knows. That's right. All right. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. And what else? And scourgeth every son whom he receives. Yes. If ye endure chastening. What? If ye endure if. chastening. If, if, if you stand That's right. chastening, yeah. if but, you tolerate uh -huh. chastening. chastening, if you put up no. with chastening. chastening, if you endure it, God being chased, being That's chastised. Right. That's right. What is God doing? God dealeth with you as with sons. God is showing our his relationship. That's right. He's dealing with you as with sons or as a father that correct children. For what son is he whom what the father chasteneth not? What son is he whom the father don't correct? Right. But if he be without chastisement. Wait a minute. Amen. When I came up, my father correct me and did it well. Amen. We didn't, well, we wasn't told to go in the corner time out. No. No. That's not chastisement. That's not chastisement. What a child going to feel from that. <laughs> That's right. That child is sitting in that corner and cussing the mother and father out. That's right. When you are chastised, you got to feel something. That's right. Eh? That's right. That's right. Whenever the Lord chastised anybody in the word of God, they felt something. Oh, yes. Even if God, even when you are convicted in your heart, that's chastisement. That's right. When the word of God said they were pricked in their heart, they was pricked in their heart because something was being preached by the Apostle Peter. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory to God, this thing will cut your heart. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, it will. Yes, It'll cut you. Do you hear what it says? If ye endure chastening. If. If. Ye endure chastening. God dealeth God with you. Is, that's only waste no time getting mad at me. That's right. God dealeth with you. Who's dealing with you? God dealeth with you. You can sit there and grumble and mumble over what we preach all you want. I don't get waste, that's what's wasted energy. That's right. Save your energy. Save your energy because God knows I'm going to step to you with Bible. That's right. Don't care who you are. That's right. I don't even care who you think you are. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, some folks think they're something. Think they're something. And I'm here to tell you, you're less than nothing. That's right. Eh? That's right. The Holy Ghost said. If ye endure chastening. If. If. Ye endure the hardness of the scripture. God dealeth with you as with sons. All right, hold it. You out there and you that are in here say you want God to deal with you. Mm. You keep saying, I want right. God to deal with me. Some of you say, I want God to show me something. I want God, that's right. I want God to appear to me. I, I hear the testimonies how God done so many things for people. I want God to deal with me. Deal well, with me. he's dealing with you right now. That's right. Do you know chastisement is still God dealing with you? Amen. Because before one goes straight, they got to be dealt with. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because you're already on a crooked path. That's right. So you must be dealt with mentally. You must be dealt with emotionally. You must be dealt with spiritually so the physical body can get right and get on a straight path and stay there. Stay there. And every time we wander from that path, we come back and be dealt with again. That's right. Viewers, you don't want that. No. Oh, no. Oh. You, don't, you don't want a church that deal with you with Bible. Oh, you no. want a church that pacifies you. That's right. You want a church that just keep dealing with your wallet. <laughs> you want a church that rub, you know, if you rub a cat enough, it'll start purring. Yes, it will. You can hear. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. You go rub the dog, dog will lick you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't purr and I don't lick. <laughs> That's right. 
God made me a preacher. Oh, yeah. I bite. You bite. Amen. <laughs> That's right. And when God said, preach the word, preach the word. what is he telling me? Sick him, Pastor Jenny. That's right. Sick him. Sick him. Sick him. That's right. Go get him. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm the type of preacher I am. That's right. Thank God I come see that second wife and second husband. I come in your house with Bible and I see you in the bed with that woman that ain't your wife and your first wife is living. I come growling with scripture. That's right. Barking. Come out. That's right. <laughs> you still don't move. I bark again. Come out. That's right. You still don't move. Then I look at you. <laughs> Then you remain hard hit. I grab your leather by the ankle. Come out of there. <laughs> Come out of there. <laughs> Why are we doing it? We're doing it to save your soul from hell. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. You don't want that done. No, you don't want that done. I don't want that done. That's why you get these old weak, watered down, hammy down, raggedy Ann and Andy preachers. <laughs> That's right. They see you like the devil, like a bunch of softy. Oh, yeah. You know, when I was a kid, and it's about this time of year when the weather's nice, Mr. Softy will come up the street. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Huh? Yeah. Hey, man, I heard Mr. Softy a few days ago. Yeah. Song having changed. <laughs> hey, man, kids still running to Mr. Softy. He's still running. Get the little ice cream just on there with the little jimmies and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's all right. It's all right. I like the ice cream that you get that scoop. Yeah. And it makes your arm flex when you push it. <laughs> you you got to scoop that stuff. Got your tongue hanging out. <clears throat> you got to you you put that scoop in hot water. Make it warm. Then put it back in there. <clears throat> That's, right. <laughs> That's right. Fight with it. Fight with it. That's good ice cream. Oh, yeah. Mr. Softy, run all down the cone, <laughs> run all down your hands, all on your clothes. Amen. You want that stuff that got to get a grip, get a grip on it. and make you get all ugly in the face. <laughs> I'll say good ice cream. Good ice cream. Hmm? That's right. Viewers, you got Mr. Softy. Oh, yeah. That's what you got for preachers, well, Mr. Softy. Mr. Softy. They don't tell you nothing that will deliver your soul from everlasting destruction. That's right. All right. If ye endure chastening. If ye endure chastening. God dealeth with you as with sons. God deal with you God as. As with sons. With sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Yes. But if ye be without chastisement. If ye be without chastisement. Whereof all are partakers. Do you hear? Amen. Everybody. All are partakers. Give chapter and verse again. Hebrews chapter 12, now we're at verse 8. Everybody Amen. are partakers oh, okay. of biblical chastisement. Yeah. That's right. And whenever you will just read your Bible, God ain't never sent a man that don't chastise the world. No. Every prophet and every apostle that God sent was to chastise the world. That's right. That's right. Some woman wrote me and said, you, can, you condemn things. Where's your love? <laughs> you condemn love? thing. He, she said, Jesus said he didn't come to condemn. Mm. Come on, Jay. He didn't condemn. My Lord. Jesus said he didn't come to bring peace. Oh, That's God. right. But a sword. But a sword. Yeah. What do you think he brought a sword for? To shave your legs? <laughs> That's right. No way. Think, think not that I have come to send peace on earth. Thank God, you better hear what Jesus said. St. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. All right. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Look at Jesus. He said he don't even want you to think this think way. It. That's right. Don't misrepresent him. That's right. Don't you think he come to bring peace I on, came, on this earth? I came not to send peace. He didn't come to bring peace, but what? But a sword. But his word. That, that's it. Huh? That's it. Because the sword is the word. That's right. And... For I am come to set a man at very... I, 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 I come to bring a sword, and it's going to be so strong, I'm going to set a man at odds. Oh, yeah. Against his father. I'm going to turn him against his own daddy. That's and right. the daughter against her mother. If you get what I put in you, the mother going to turn, the daughter going to turn against her mother. And the daughter-in-law If you get the teachings of Jesus, the daughter-in-law... Against her mother-in-law. ...going to turn against the mother-in-law. And a man's foes... If you get the teaching of Jesus, a man enemy... Shall be they of his own household. Your own house going to get mad with you. That's right. 
That's right. That's the results. Bless God of following what Jesus said. <laughs> That's right. Go back to the book of Hebrews, son. Back in Hebrews chapter 12, and we're at verse 8. All right. But if ye be without chastisement. If ye be without chastisement. If ye be without correction. Whereof all are partakers. Everybody. All are partakers. Everybody. Everybody. Oh, yes. I don't care who you are. That's right. Everybody under the sun, from the president, from the White House to the doghouse. All our partakers. Needs correction. That's right. Yes, that's right. And God said, nobody going to get away. That, but if you be without chest time. If you be without chest time. We're of all our partakers. You might as well get ready for it. Get, get ready for it. Y'all, you, 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 you that write letters cussing me out. You get that make all it. your comments and call me an antichrist and you that get upset. Some of you here walk around pouting with your lips poked out. You <laughs> might as well pick your lip up and put it in your pocket. <laughs> That's right. That's because right. you're going to get it. Oh, yes. Yeah. But if you be without chest If you be without chest tied, then we're in all, all the partakers. partakers. What did God call them? Then are ye bastards. What? Then are ye bastards. If I don't accept chest tied, then what do God call me? Then are ye bastards. If I don't accept chest tied, then how do God look at me? Then are ye bastards. If I don't accept chest tied, then how will God treat me? Then are ye bastards. But my mother loved me. Bastards. But my wife loved me. Bastards. My husband loved me. Bastards. I got I to gotta raise up my job. Bastards. I'm on the choir. Bastard. I'm a deacon. Bastard. I'm a preacher. Bastard. I'm an elder. Bastard. I'm a pastor. Bastard. I'm the preacher's mama. Bastard. Wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. But Amen. I'm a millionaire. Bastard. I'm a celebrity. Bastards. I'm a Democrat. Bastard. Republican. Bastards. Don't matter. Amen. Amen. That's right. Do you hear this? But if ye be without chastisement. All right, human family, you hard right. head, self righteous, stubborn thing. Because you got a bill full and plenty of money, I don't care what kind of house you have, no. it doesn't matter. Amen. Everybody might as well understand the grave is waiting on you. That's right. Oh, yes. The grave is waiting on you, and the worm's going to feast sweetly yeah. upon you. That's right. Do you hear this? But if you be without if chastisement. If be without correction. If you be without the correction of God. Whereof all are partakers. Everybody. Yeah. Are partakers. Is a partaker. Everybody under the sun will be involved. Yeah. Then are with you, God's correction. That's right. And if you don't want to submit to it. Then are you bastards. You're a bastard. That's and right. not sons. And you're not a son, meaning you're out of the wedlock of God. That's furthermore. Right. Further, well, wait, we got some more to tell you. Furthermore. Furthermore. We have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us. When we were younger, our fathers corrected us. We that had fathers. That's right. And that's one of the problems among the human family now. Yeah. <coughs> Many of you parents been with to sleep on the job. Yeah. Hey Amen. Some of you parents brag. I don't beat my children. Then your children grow up and beat you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's true. I don't beat my children. <laughs> you imagine them brag about it. Then brag about it. Then you wonder why your child is so disrespectful. You can go in the supermarket. Yeah. And sometimes you see a mother got her child or children. And uh, mother, the, the son or the daughter want to get that particular item, candy or cookies. And the mother may say, no, Billy, you can't have that. I didn't come for that, Bill. Right. Right. Before you know it, he go walk up to his mother and kick her right on her ankle. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he will. And then stand and look at her. That's right. And she's like, ow, ow, Bill, why are you so bad? And he say, shut up. Yes, he will. That's true. Now, if that, if, if that was us coming up, oh, my Lord. our bodies would have replaced the groceries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? we, would have been in that, we would have been in that grocery cart, legs hanging over, and our head on the back of that little part. That's right. Mother drive through, ring her up. <laughs> Take that package home. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. The media and the government, the government. have said, don't beat your children. Yeah. And then they put out negative ads. Yeah. Don't beat your children. Don't beat them. Don't chastise them. That's right. Don't put them in check. Yeah. Don't put them in order. 
because the government know that if the children will be wild, we can make money off of them. That's, right. That's why the prison system is privatized. That's right. They privatize the prison system. That way, if your children come out your home, no discipline, no manners, wild, guns and knives and murders, and no one they ever have to answer to, Uncle Sam say, don't worry. That's right. They gonna answer to me. Yeah. I'm gonna make money off of them yeah. because I'm gonna throw them right in jail. That's right. And you see them in jail, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. Yeah. Glory to God. That's right. You better hear this message, you viewers out oh, there. Oh, yes. Listen. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us. Yes. And we gave them reverence. We gave them honor. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto Just like we subject ourselves to our earthly father, mm -hmm. the word of God, shall we not much rather, much, shall we not be more obligated in subjection unto the to father be of subject spirits to God, who is the father of spirits or the creator of the divine world. That's right. That's right. You subject yourself to your earthly father, you that did. You that did. Well, how much more you think you're not supposed to subject yourself to God, your heavenly father? That's right. You out there said, well, I don't believe in no God. You not believe in no God don't change the fact it is. No. Listen, you may not believe there's a sun that shine in the heavens. Do you think your unbelief make an eclipse? <laughs> That's right. Are you that ignorant? Are you that arrogant? Are you that yeah. educated? Are you that rich that you can bring your own eclipse <laughs> to bring your own unbelief? Do you think your own unbelief blocked the sun, your That's fool? Right. For what if some did not believe? Do you hear the Bible talking? In Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. What if some don't believe? Shall their, Shall unbelief, their unbelief make the faith of God without God's effect? God's belief ineffective? God forbid. God forbid. Yea, let God be oh, true. let God God be true. But every man a liar. Your unbelief That's make right. you a liar. That's right. Your unbelief doesn't stop God's belief. That's right. All right, son. Come on, Williams. Back in the book of Hebrews chapter 12. Now we're at verse 10. Yes. For they verily for a few days chasing us after their own pleasure. Yes. But he for our profit. Wait a minute. Uh-huh. That's right. God come along and correct us for what? For But he for our profit. So we can gain something. That we might be partakers of his holiness. Do you hear this? Amen. Correction come that we may be partaker of God's what? Of his holiness. Of God's holiness. Holiness. And this is why correction is necessary. You don't need to get mad. That's Stay right. out of church. I ain't going to church Tuesday. I felt as though he's picking on me. The Bible's working on you, then accept the work. That's it. You might as well take yourself and throw yourself overboard. That, and right. fall into the clutches of Scripture. That's right. That's Man right. overboard! Man yeah. overboard. Yeah. Amen. Fall into the clutches of, of Scripture. That's right. Huh? For they verily for a few days. They verily for a few days. Chasing us after their own pleasure. But what? But he for our profit. Why do God do it? But he for our profit. God come tell you, you can't do this. You can't do that. This is, this is how you do this, and this is how you do that. You're running too fast. Slow down. Slow down. Don't get in the hair of it. Take your time. That's right. Uh, that's not a good investment. That, that's a wife that ain't worth having. Yeah. That man is not worth having. He'll murder you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That baptism is wrong. You ain't spoken tongue, you ain't got the Holy Ghost. Hey, woman, get out the pulpit. Amen. Every religion is wrong, but what God told us to be, holy. Holy. God come along and correct everything. That's right. We get mad, get upset, we cuss, we pout, we uh, send foul-mouthed emails and all that stuff. You see, the problem with many of us, mm. we want God to believe what we believe. Yeah. God belief ain't set up like that. No. Oh, no. There was God belief is not set up that he going to believe what we believe. No way. Because his belief was here before us. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He made man yes. so man can follow all what he believed. That's, right. That's it. And then when man fell, that still wouldn't change God's belief. No. All that did was challenge man and made him now subject himself or got to be willing to subject himself to God's belief, which caused him to go against what he believed. That's right. Many folk got mad at me and left the church. Yeah. 
but I still hold to what God believes. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. Many preachers have offered me their churches and their organizations. I rejected it. Rejected it. And I held on to what God believed. That's right. I was offered millions of dollars. Oh, yes. I rejected And I held on to what God believed. That's right. Many men have changed their belief yes. and their teaching for the sake of getting members and they still see it didn't work. That's right. We held on, on. to what God believed. Oh yes. oh, yes. Are you getting me? Amen. We kept holiness holy. We kept holiness holy. And we're going to keep holiness holy. That's right. They that are holy. For they that keep holiness. Listen at this. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and verse 10. They that keep holiness. That keep holiness. Holy. Holy. Shall be judged holy. Shall be judged holy. And they that have learned I, such things. I want God to judge me holy. Oh, yes. If God judge me holy, oh, then yes. I'm going to pass that judge. That's right. I won't be indicted. That's right. Because if my life is holy and he bring that holy judge, oh, yeah. blessed and holy is he to have part in the first resurrection. Yes. Amen. And go on and push me in that, in that resurrection. Push, that's right. And then everything else, let me just throw overboard. <laughs> that's it. That's right. You that are here and you that are watching, is it anything in your life you need to throw overboard? Throw overboard. You know it is. Yeah. You sit and look at me like a deer in headlights. You know it is. <clears throat> That's, That's right. why we preach against some things. You're like, oh, there he go again. And no, it ain't no there he go again. That's there right. the Bible goes That's again. The Bible goes again. That's right. A lot of time, folk, the reason why they need correction because they don't know better. Yeah. Some mean well. Oh, yeah. But they don't know better. That's right. And That's then right. when you begin to learn and know better, you'll put a bridle on your tongue. Oh, yeah. I mean, you won't be that quick to talk no more. Oh, yes. You won't be that fast to react again. That's right. You take your time because now knowledge that made you shift gears. Now you slow down. Slow down. Now you know when to talk, how to talk, what to say, and what mm. not to say. And you know how. It doesn't matter if it sounds right in your eyes. That's right. The question is, is it right in God's eyes? That's it. And that's why I got a lot of enemies. Yes. Oh, yes. Some have told me, Pastor Jennings, I want you to see this the way I see it. I tell, them, I tell folks oh, to their no. face. I don't care how you see it. That's no. right. Can't you say any nicer than that? No. Wonderful. No. Wonderful. I'm telling you what I mean. That's right. When it comes to that Bible, I really don't care how nobody see anything. <laughs> That's right. I mean, how plain can I say it? That's right. When it comes to God's word, I don't care how nobody see anything <laughs> but God. Amen. The way God see it, I say amen. That's it. The way God say it, I say amen. Right. That's right. Amen. I got to say it like Frank. Amen. That's right. God, Frank put the A in the man. <laughs> he, he put it in there, don't he? Oh, yes. Amen. So some got mad at me. Some even left because I wouldn't see something the way they see it. You, and that's why folk is not used to a preacher that just lean on scripture, stay oh, no. in scripture, because they're used to having a preacher. The moment they come to him, well, Bishop wants you to do this. Bishop wants you to do that. He changed. That's true. Bishop, we, you know what? We used to teach this. Don't teach that no more. Let's do this. Okay. No. That's right. Bishop, let's have a church fashion show. All right. All right. Bishop, just have a, a, a holy lottery game. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. All right. That's right. That's right. Whatever the people want. Whatever the people want. Bishop say yes. Oh, yes. And when they see they can't move me at all, you know what they say? You can't talk to Pastor Janice. That's what they say. Yes, you can. That's saying it so aggressive and so right. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. Right. You can talk to me, but if you come talking to me with the mentality that I'm going to lean to you because you're going to talk to me, mm. I'm leaning on scripture. That's right. Yes, you do. And my answer going to be scripture. Yes, it will. You don't want a scripture answer? Don't come talk to me. That's right. Go talk to somebody else. That's right. I'm going to tell you what the word of God says. If you're the last person on earth. On 
if you're, if you're the last person walking the earth and we run up on each other, wandering in the streets, and everybody else is dead, and you say, well, look, Pastor Jen, ain't nobody else on the planet but you and I. What you say about that? Repent. That's right. Yes, I can be old as Methuselah as possible. That's right. Repent. Repent. Kingdom of God is at hand. That's right. Repent. I'm going to stick to what the word of God said. That's right. I have been blessed and have received abundance of blessings from God. That's wonderful. Sticking to what the word of God said. That's right. If I didn't stick to the word, you wouldn't have saw that crowd last week. No. No way. Sticking no way. to the word, I had to obey the vision that he gave. Me. That's right. And you know how many men came in here who heard the vision and literally came in here to try to get me to change? Yeah. I have had men set, say, look, I heard the vision that you gave and I want to work with you. But, hmm. but. Oh, no. you preach such and such and such a thing and this is what I believe. Yeah. And I'll work with you if I tell them it's best you go now. That's right. That's right. As best you go now. Go now. You work with me if. If what? If yeah. I give you ice cream? Amen. Candy? Wonderful, brother. That God, the vision was given to me. Wonderful. And it's working. Yes, it is. Amen. Yes, and if you couldn't see just a little inkling of it just last week, I remember when we started out, our congregation couldn't even fill this pulpit. No. When we started out, our congregation couldn't fill those little section of chairs right over there. That's right. They could be over there and still have more room. <laughs> That's right. And still some chairs would be empty. Yeah. The vision, hallelujah, glory to God. The vision was given to me. Oh, yes. I'm talking about real visions from God. From God. I don't mean turning on cable. <laughs> no. I mean real visions from God. Years ago, showing me today. That's right. Amen. And I told folk about it, and I wasn't even Pastor Jen. That's right. Told Williams about it, and Deke about it, Dan the Man Stasiak about it, told my wife about it, my mother about it. Wonderful. Yeah. My mother retaliated. She couldn't see that thing to save her life. <laughs> she couldn't see that thing, and she said, oh, nah, because the vision hit her. Yeah. She had a silver fox shawl. Wearing it, a proud look. <laughs> she had several carrot gold teeth on the front of her mouth. Mm. Wearing it for pride. Knock mm. that out. Amen. Had that, all them diamond rings, wedding band, all that stuff. Knock that out. Knock that out. Amen. That's right. Oh, yes. She wore her dress just a little bit below the knee. Mm -hmm. I slapped it hard till it dropped as a curtain. That's right. Amen. That's right. What? Someone said, that's your mama. That's all right. That's all right. Who is Who my is? mother, Who sister, and brother? But he, yeah. Jesus said to do the will of my yeah. father, which is in heaven. That's right. That God, I had to put God's word on my mama. Yes, you did. The matter was my mama. God was first. That's right. Oh, my mother fought like a fish out of water. She was just jumping around. <laughs> like a fish out of water. Why? That's the nature of anyone who don't understand change. That's right. It's hard to change. Oh, yeah. When you've been in something for years and then you find out what you was in was wrong. Yeah. In your heart, you may know it's right, but the change. change. That's hard. Oh, yes. The God, but eventually she gave in. Amen. Tap out. Nice. Yes. Ain't no need fighting now at 91 or 92. No. Amen. No way. Ain't no need for you to keep fighting either, viewers. That's right. You can fight until your hand get withered and your eyes get dim from age. Oh, yes. God is someone that you can never fight against and win. That's right. 
Finish up Hebrews, son. Still in Hebrews 12, we're at verse 9. Follow me. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which correct us. <coughs> yes. And we gave them reverence. Uh -huh. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? Yes. For they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure. Uh -huh. But he for our profit. God come and chase us so we can profit. That we might be partakers of his holiness. Yes. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to when be you, joyous. When you get chastening. Amen. For the present, seemeth to be joy. It don't seem to be fun, do it? But grievous. But what? Grievous. Oh yeah. A woman hear about them fake eyelashes and them fake ponytails and That's right. fake hair extensions. That's right. You know that stuff is wrong. Mm -hmm. Go in the mirror and look at herself, and she like, ah. Oh. <laughs> be putting them in, saying, Lord, please help me. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. We're putting them in, putting that lie on her head. That's true. Lord, please help me. That's true. <laughs> Come on, Jake. Come on. Ah! That's right. She's all in the mirror with them fake eyelashes, look like paintbrushes. Yeah. Lord. Lord, I gotta I gotta come up to this. I gotta come up to this. Someone need to borrow your eyes to paint the kitchen wall. Yeah. You look like a fool. That's right. Love the way God made you and stop letting the media dictate how you look. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Your man gonna marry all that fake stuff and then he wake up and that stuff is gone. He gonna wonder, how did you get in here? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's true. There was a case my wife told me about. There was a case where a woman, he, some man married, but she had all his plastic surgery done. So he, he never saw her before the plastic surgery. So this woman had everything reconstructed, face, body, the whole nine yards. Mm. And she was just as different in look as day and night. So he never saw the real thing. He saw Miss Plastic Amen. that he thought was the real thing. Amen. But after the first baby came, and the first baby looked like the way she really looked, mm. should I say more? <laughs> He wanted to know what happened. What happened? I don't look like this. You don't look like this. Who is that? Who is that? That's right. Huh? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Get this now, viewers. Now, no chastening for the present. When we Seem tell you what the word of God say, it don't feel good to you. That's, That's right. why you keep running to your false church, but it won't help you. No. God going to throw you out that church just like Jonah was thrown off that boat. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. But Jonah land in water. You going to land in hell. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Now, no chastening for the present seemed to be joyous. Yes. But grievous. Grievous. Nevertheless, afterward. Afterward. It yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Yeah, you'll be productive afterward. Unto them which are exercised Unto thereby. Unto them that's exercising what? Thereby. Their body. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down. Yes. And the feeble knees. Yes. And make straight paths for your feet. You see what this does? That's right. Listen, lift up the hands. Which hang down. That hang down. And the feeble knees. And it has strengthened those that are feeble, that are weak. And make straight paths for make your feet. straight paths for what? For your feet. For your feet. Lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Did you hear that? Amen. So this would make the crooked straight. That's it. Make it stand up for God. Oh, yeah. That's right. Repent of your sins, viewers. The truth of God is the message. For the last days, they know maybe so about it. That's right. It is converting, changing the hearts of men, women, boys, and girls from around the world. That's right. Once you repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you don't come get the right baptism and then go out back out there in the street. No way. That's right. You don't come and get the right baptism and then go back to the false church you come from. No because way. you still will be cast into hell yeah. 
even if you're baptized right. That's right. God wants you to continue with him. Continue. Yes. That's right. God wants you to stay with him. That's right. Yes. The word of God says in Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Do you hear this? Amen. The reason why God wants you to repent is because he wants you to be sorry, sorry. convicted. Yes. Some conviction. That's right. Get a person that's convicted for whatever crime, they'll make an effort to make a change. That's right. So God wants you to be sorry yes. about being a fool. Mm -hmm. yeah. eh? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. Who? Every one of you. How much? Every one of you. I got everybody. That's everybody. Right. Everybody, oh, glory yeah. to God, I mean everybody. That's right. Everybody under the sun, just like God sent Noah in his day, sent Moses in his day to warn the world about the judgment of God. God sent us for this generation to warn the world about the judgment that God is bringing upon not just America, but the whole world. That's right. You better run now. Better run now. You better run to God while you got oh, yeah. life now. Oh, yes. Repent, repent, hard head, hard head, stubborn hellions. Amen. Repent. Repent. And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. Every one of you. For what? In the name of Jesus Christ. And for the remission of sins. God wants you to be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, to get your sins washed away. Then what did he promise? And you shall receive the gift of the Holy he Ghost. He promised to fill you with himself. For the promise is unto you. Do you hear this? Amen. He promised this. And to your children. To you and to your children. And to all that are far off. God to how far they are naturally. And another understanding of being far off, that means them that's not even born yet. That's right. Yeah. Them that's to arrive later in the future. That's right. It got them covered too. And to all that are far off. Even what? Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And the scripture says the Lord has spoken. Oh, yes. He has called the whole earth. From the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. That's right. So all of you thousands that heard this message, all of you thousands, you know, Saturday of the convention coming up in July, the church want to give your brother, Pastor Jennings, an appreciation day Amen. of uh, after 38 years of work. Yeah. And they want to give me an appreciation day. They ain't buying me no car. That's right. They ain't buying me no jet. That's right. They ain't buying me no suit. I want a suit, I go buy my own suit. Amen. They ain't buying me no shoes, I go shop for my own shoes. Yeah. They ain't buying me no suspenders. If I want suspenders, I get them on my wife and get them myself. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But here's an anniversary gift you can give Pastor Jennings. Amen. I want to hear your testimony. Of how the message of God changed your life. Wonderful. What did God deliver you from? What did God free you from? When did God come to your rescue? How did you hear this message? Where was you at when you heard it? What was you doing when you heard it? Wonderful. Because we got a testimony. Wonderful. God have placed me into your life. Yeah. Many of you don't like me, it don't matter. God put me in your life anyway, anyway. you old heathen. <laughs> That's right. God have placed me in the lives of heathens. That's right. And God have placed me in the lives of godly folk. Amen. God have put us in your life to turn you around. Turn you around. Bible said they're turning from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God. That's right. So all of you thousands that was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. when you heard the message of the truth of God, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. I want to see all of you. Yes, you say you're walking with the truth and you believe it? Yes, sir. If you got baptized and went to a false church, you're still going to hell. Still going. If you got baptized and not continue to continue. walk with God, That's you're right. still going to hell. That's right. Is that Bible? Give me Acts 2, 42. And they continued. They broke off. And they continued. They quit. And they continued. They put in for early retirement. And they continued. They just got baptized and knocked off and went home fishing. <laughs> and they continued. No, they quit and got some potato salad, macaroni and cheese, candy, yams, and turkey. And they continued. What? And they continued. Oh, God, you got to keep this 
this thing up. That's steadfast. What did they continue in, son? In the apostles' doctrine. They continue steadfastly ah. in what Jesus gave his apostles. And fellowship. And you got to do what? And fellowship. Ah. Hallelujah. You got a fellowship with, the, with what the word of God says. Hallelujah. That's right. You got a fellowship with it. That's right. Meaning you got to be a part of it. That's right. Yeah. And in breaking a bread. You got to come along. That's what we're doing now. We're breaking scripture. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And Glory in prayer. God. And you got to be proud. Hallelujah. So, all of you thousands. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. All around the world. Uh -huh. Pastor Jennings is giving you a personal invitation. Wonderful. wonderful. This message that have changed black, white, brown, yellow, read so many ethnic groups from every country in the world. Amen. I want to see you by the thousands. Oh, yes. I would love to hear the testimony. Oh, yes. How did the message of the truth of God change your life? Yes. How did it affect your life? Yes. And the changes that you are making, some change is better than no change at all. That's right. Amen. That's right. All right. Anybody here this afternoon want to get on God's side? Hallelujah. And don't want to be thrown overboard in hell? That's right. Want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet if you want to get right with God. All of you that's standing. Here, yeah, all of you that's standing. Go to the back. All of you that's standing, go to the back and come on around to the front. All of you that are standing. So viewers, remember, remember. when we preach, come out of your churches. I had so many folk write me, especially preaching. Jesus ain't tell nobody to leave no religion. He didn't. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 17. Give chapter and verse again. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. And, 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 and when you read that, Go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. I want to see who spoke it first. Right. All right, what you have, son? 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. Says what? Wherefore, come out from among them. Yeah, that's why we tell you come out. That's right. What if God say, come out from among them and be separate? Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing. Leave that dirty stuff alone. Don't even touch it. And I will receive you. If you leave it, God say, he'll receive you. And will be a father unto you. Do you hear that? Amen. He'll say, he'll be a father to you. And ye shall be my sons he and daughters. He said, he'll be his sons and daughters. 15, 15 chapter, 1 Corinthians now. Because they, they'll say, Paul said it. No, Jesus said it. Yeah. And Paul was used to re rehearse it. Yeah. 15 chapter, 1 Corinthians says what? Begin at verse 1. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 1. I declare unto you. I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you. Yes. Which also ye have received uh -huh. and wherein ye stand. Yes. By which also ye are saved if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you unless ye have believed yeah. in vain. And what? For I delivered unto you first of all. How did I get it? That I delivered unto you first of all that which what I What did I do? That I delivered. What did I do? I delivered. I delivered. Yeah. Unto you. To you. First of all. First of all. That which I also so received. You see, he got it first from God. That's right. And after he got it from God, he delivered it to you. That's right. That which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins. According to what? According to the scripture. So I'm delivering to you, first of all, That's yeah. right. what I got from God. That's right. And what I got from God is not broken because it's working. Yes, it is. And you that are watching, thousands of you, thousands of you, right. repented of your sins and been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. So the holy convocation is a gathering. Book of Leviticus, quick, so I can knock off, son. Wake by, up. By which also you are saved. No, Book of Leviticus, hear me. Book of Leviticus now. The holy convocation, Leviticus 23, 23. I want you to listen and get me. Amen. Listen to what I'm telling you. Leviticus chapter. This is a holy convocation. Right. A gathering. That's right. Leviticus 23, 23. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. The Lord spake to Moses, saying. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, in the seventh month. In, in the, the first seventh day, month. First day of the month, of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial. In what month? In the first. In, the in seventh, what month? The seventh month. That's what we're having. Right. July the seventh month. Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 We're having what? In the seventh month. In the first day of the month. What are we gonna do? Shall ye have a Sabbath? We're gonna have a day of resting. What I'm do you mean resting? Mm -hmm. We're gonna rest from the wickets of the devil. And, let, and we're going to rest all in Jesus. That's right. Jesus said, this is the rest, which is called the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing. That's right. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. rest. That's right. 
Take my yoke upon you. Then he said, learn of, learn me, of me. For my yoke is easy and my burdens is light. That's right. And you shall find rest. Glory to God for your soul. That's right. Come on, son. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying. Speak unto Israel, saying. In the seventh month. In the seventh month. In the first, first day, day of, of the, the month, month. Shall you have a Sabbath. You shall have a Sabbath. A memorial blowing of trumpets. We're going to be blowing trumpets, too. That means we're going to give God a celebration. And, and, <laughs> and the word of God going to be preached. That's right. Amen. Because we're going to be blowing that trumpet. Blowing the trumpets. Blowing of what? A memorial of blowing, blowing of, of what? A memorial of blowing of trumpets. It's going to be a trumpet blown on, uh, on, on the Thursday night. It could be right. a trumpet blown Friday night. It could be a trumpet blown on Saturday night. It yeah. could be a trumpet blown on Sunday morning. It's going to be a trumpet blown again Sunday night. That's right. Because voice is going to be lift up. That's right. As a trumpet. A memorial blowing of trumpets. We're going to commemorate. It's a memorial, sir. That's right. To commemorate God's greatness to the church. That's right. We're celebrating God. That's right. Huh? Amen. What is it, sir? A memorial blowing of trumpets. Thank God, a memorial of blowing trumpets. And holy convocation. All right. It's a holy convocation. So you come on now. Amen. It is mandatory, mandatory. that every soul yes. that want to be right with God. That's right. Come on and be in this convocation. Yes. Stay out of the convocations or the convention of false churches where women getting ordained and homosexuals are up preaching. Yeah. Get away from that mess. Amen. Baptizing your father, son, and Holy Ghost. Bunch of men blowing on you. <laughs> That's right. And you falling out full of the devil out of hell. That's right. You better repent now. Repent. You better repent and go down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Make your plans to be in Greensboro, North Carolina. Now, yeah. yes. you ain't got to call Sister Roberts. Just call the hotel where the meeting was at the convention center. Start making your reservation. <laughs> right. huh? yes, you, you ain't got to wait. Just go on and call and get ready to be that. Yeah. Pack a bag now so you get, all your stuff is already reserved. Don't forget nothing. That's right. <laughs> May That's God right. keep you. May God preserve you. Uh, was this note just placed up here? Yeah. Um, all right, uh, is that Mabel Carroll and Anthony Jones at the service stopped by the financial office? That's Anthony Jones and Mabel Carroll stopped by the financial office. All right, now to all of my traveling team, be on time because I got a busy schedule. I want to meet with you at 3 o'clock. All of my traveling team in the conference room on the second floor, be there at 3 o'clock because I got a busy schedule, so be there on time. We got some modifications that need to be made. Let us all stand. Yes. Say what? Come on up. Eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, have done upon us, brother. Let your peace and mercy be upon him. Pardon every transgression, blot out every iniquity. By the effectual working of thine great power, let your peace and your protection be upon him. Make provisions for him in every manner he stand in need of. Let your peace and mercy and protection be upon him. Supplies every need according to your riches and glory. These blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let every heart say amen. amen. Remain standing. Unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory and power both now and forever. Brothers and sisters, say amen. amen. We'll be back this evening, God willing, at 430. 430 this evening.